Well, um, a little over six years ago, I was introduced to Sir Rod Aldridge, who had this vision of putting a, an academy in to really give opportunity for young people in East Brighton, uh, far better than they've had in the future. Uh, he talked about uh, sporting provision, and we, we discussed the idea of uh, putting cricket as a major option here. So from these seeds of the first ideas, we, we've now created the Aldridge Cricket Academy, which gives opportunities for youngsters to play cricket and study. And now there's an investment of uh, over one and a half million pound going into a bespoke centre. It's really exciting and it's, it's really lifting the bar for state uh, education in Brighton and Hove. Brilliant. I mean, as well as helping out um, Backer and Packer, I mean, this cricket centre is just going to be a huge boost for the community as a whole, isn't it? Oh yes, we believe so very much. So, and we want to, you know, we uh, very much the, the philosophy. Uh, speaking as a Backer governor for a minute, very much the philosophy is involving the community. It's going to be the base for uh, a couple of other cricket clubs, and, and we, you know, we, we want to give opportunity to the community as much as possible. And I mean, speaking from your role with with Sussex, it's great that the Sussex women are going to have the opportunity to play here and actually have a home. Absolutely. Um, the increase in, in women and girls cricket is one of the most significant things in cricket over the last five years and to have a bespoke uh, base which I think will be the best one in the country will give a, a huge opportunity for a young women cricketers. It's an unbelievable facility for, uh, for, well, for any school never mind the state school really so we're both commenting on how much cricket we got to play at school and well, neither of us really played any at uh, the schools we went to so to have a facility like this where you've got three lanes the run-ups are going to be longer than the ones at Hove it's, uh, it's an unbelievable place for the kids to come and play to be honest. Do you think that's, um, that's important that the kids are getting it from, from a young age, they're getting these facilities and this ability to be able to enhance their game if, if they choose if they want to? Yeah, definitely. As, as, as Jim said, like, both of us went to state school, neither, neither of our schools played, played cricket at all really. So, so if, if, if guys have got the chance to play not just cricket in the first place, but actually at, at a top venue and with all the facilities, you know, everything's better when you're doing something where, where you're in a new place, everything's shiny, everything's, you know, everything works. So. You've got to encourage more people to come in the first place and then once they're in, hopefully they'll get the best out of it. It's, in, it's important as well, being in the UK, that you've got a facility like this you can use through the winter. So that's one setback we've got compared to Australia, South Africa, and all the other countries we play against as, as nations. But if kids do get the opportunity to play from a young age all the way through the year, then it's going to be a massive help to, to improve people and just get them participating in cricket, even if you know people don't want to play elite level cricket. Brilliant. So, I mean, as well as, you know, helping out Backer and Packer, I mean, with Port Slade uh, Cricket Club playing here and the Sussex Women playing here as well, it's just going to be a huge boost to the community as a whole, isn't it, really? Yeah, you know, if you've got two, two places that are going to call this home full-time, then, you know, at the very least, it's going to be it's going to be busy throughout the summer and there's going to be competitive cricket played all year round. And then with two, obviously, big big clubs like that going to be based here, it's going to bring in more people kind of without having to, without having to really try. So... The, there's a lot of possibility here and, and hopefully you know it'll reach reach its potential. Definitely, definitely. I think the county's under strain with the facilities we've got so to have like say for the women to find a permanent home and another Premier League cricket ground sort of in the area it's, it's going to benefit everybody not just the, the local people as well. And finally then it's like you guys touched on before it's like um, what was mentioned in the presentation it's great that um, maybe I guess a state school is, is getting this facility that can really put it up there and above a lot of independent schools that maybe considered to have better facilities as well. Yeah, de definitely. I mean, I think everybody knows that the current climate funding is hard to secure for anything. So we're very lucky to, to get the backing to be able to build a facility like this. Like I said, whether it's at a state school or a private school, but it's, it's important that everybody gets equal opportunities. And, you know, to have this facility here is, is, you know, it's one of the best in the country, I guess, not just the, you know, even in Sussex. So it's an amazing facility to, to have. You guys hoping a few future Sussex stars are going to come out of this? <laughs> yeah, you'd like to think so, as I said. Brand new facility is always going to attract people from, from all around. You know, people want to you want to do things in the nicest places. You know, as superficial as it sounds, you'd rather do something in a, a brand new place than somewhere that's you know falling apart and not working. So, um, you'd like to think it'll attract plenty of people and, and give give guys the opportunity to do well.